This is Surviving End Times, and we've got some more interesting correlations here connected to April 8th and the eclipse on that day. With all the other anomalies that we've covered and that I've talked about in separate videos, we now have word that CERN is going to ramp up their physics in ISOLD, which is downstream from the PS booster, starting on the same day of the eclipse. This is going to be followed by the SPS North area on April 10th. This window is no coincidence to me. This is the exact same window that Aleister Crowley and his minions hold in high regard. A high satanic window for them. And it's the exact same time CERN is firing up and going into motion here with these physics in ISOLD. Now, they just fired the whole thing up in terms of starting it up and getting the engines kind of revving before the beams start firing. And they fired it up on March 22nd on 322. So all these numbers, symbolic. And the antimatter factory is set to start delivering antiprotons to the experiment on the first day of Passover, April 22nd. A bunch of key dates tied into this whole thing. And it looks like CERN going to be doing more experiments. And we really don't know what's going on with all these experiments. We know that there is a collider. And they've mentioned before of trying to fold the fabric of the next dimension and on the current one, which is very interesting. But this time frame of experiments... In the eclipse, well, I don't think it's a coincidence, and I wanted to point it out and let it be known. Join me on the live streams Monday and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below. And as I always say, eyes to the skies.